Hi, everybody. Okay. So, I'm going to do a ha December 2014 hamster clean out. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just cleaning out his cage. So, I thought I'd make a video of it. So, this is just what it looks like right now. By the way, I put this in his cage. Um, bubbles. Kind of got over it and just kept knocking it over. Honestly, I have no idea how she was knocking it over, but, like, it would turn up like this. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to do a clean up. I'm going to put Einstein in this open thing basket. So, and I'll show you guys how I do this basket thing. Real fast. So what I do is I open the bin that's full of bedding, put this up close to the edge, grab some of the bedding, sprinkle it at the bottom, just enough to lightly cover the bottom of it, it's fine. Put it over here. <coughs> I can see. And pour him out. Get his old. Oh, he rolled over. Oh, he's okay though. He's still sleepy. It's just holding. If you guys are wondering, we have a deal that he won't interrupt me unless he's asked. Okay, I'll just go in here. I'll give him some tubes to chew on. But I will be right back with everything out of his cage. So, yeah, I'll be back. So, I have everything out of his cage. Or his bin, I should say. You guys can see where he's kind of peed the most. It's a little darker there. A little darker back here, too. Um, here he is just cleaning himself in a basket. He's so cute. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think the dogs are in here, so yeah, that's good. But here's just everything specified. I'm just going to put him in here in case I look away and he climbs out real fast, but... Um, everything that was in his cage, he has the, I'm pretty sure this is the small wooden log bendable bridge. <coughs> you can see the little metal pieces. Um, he has two tubes in here that he's chewed on just a little bit, not much. He's not a big chewer. Um, that's why I have foods with big pellets in it. Um, he has nibbled at this a little bit. There he goes. Oh, buddy, you can't climb out of there. You have nothing in your home. These are just, like, wood chunks of, like, small logs. Um, I'm not sure the name. I got it at Pet Smart, I believe. <clears throat> he has an owl. Um, what's it called? Oil burner. Pretty sure it's, like, you can put scents. And then you have the candle that, like, warms it up and, like, melts. <clears throat> and then this that my mom got at a fair. It's called Bayou Billy Pretty in Pink. It's actually had lemonade in it. And then I cleaned it out. As you can see, it's about ready to get thrown away. Because that's not good. But I cleaned it out quite a bit. Because it starts to make his cage smell. And then he just has a cat ball toy. And then a green platform with his water bowl has a hole in it. This has that in it. And then this food. So yeah, oh, and he has actually another tube that I put in there. <coughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll be right back with everything, even the bedding, out of his cage. And I will, yeah, I'll be right back. And then I'll show you guys, like, how I put him in there and how he, like, looks around and stuff. 
So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and it's all cleaned out. Um, I do not have to do, like, the actual, like, wipe down the bottom, because it's pretty clean. I do it next time I clean the cage, and that's when I wipe, like, the entire bin down. <coughs> so, and also I don't like washing it every time I clean this cage, because I clean it so often that, like, I don't want to do anything to the respiratory infection with the stuff I use. It's just vinegar and water, but I don't want to do that. So I pick them up, put them in the bottom, take the tube away, <clears throat> and then I just pour this bedding in here. So there's here. And then I spread this around a bit. I'm just gonna be used to it. It's gonna get all stuck up in his hair. I have to give him a good brush after this. Okay, and then now what I'm just doing is getting this bin of bedding. And this is what I do. I just transfer it over. These bins really help, guys. Like, really. You don't have to get the big bag or whatever you have your hand. You just get a pull out it, pull out the little drawer, and boom. The only downside to it is you have to quite you have to fill it quite often, especially if you use bedding with a guinea pig. Guinea pig. Um, I clean my guinea pig out every day. I actually have to do it after this video because I didn't do it yet, which is bad of me. But um. So bedding kind of goes by fast. That's I only give her or bubbles like this much bedding. That way, like it's not using up as much. Like, but she still has bedding. Like it covers the entire floor. Lately, I've been giving her more because my room's been getting cold. But um, I give them my animals more bedding in the winter than in the summer because it gets kind of hot in my room in the summer. So. And he's not a burrower, burrow, burrower. The only time he like burrows is when he gets in his little cup, and it's because he builds that thing up really tall with bedding. Oh, look at him! You just poured some um, bedding on him. He looks so cute. Like literally, this thing was like full, pretty full actually. So. Bedding kind of goes fast, but it's okay. So, we got the good three inches right there. <laughs> Look at him trail around his bedding. He looks so cute. I think that's like the only downfall to having teddy bear hamsters that they collect bedding with any kind of any kind of bedding, they collect it. The only time I never seen him collect bedding was when I use like, I don't even know what it's called, it's by KT though. Go to my past videos to see that. I know I did a bedding review on it, I don't know if I uploaded it though. So, yeah. So, here he is. I have to give him a brush. Here's his brush guys, it's just a toothbrush very soft. Very soft. You can bend it any way you want. So, yeah. So, I will be right back and I'll show you guys how I decorate this cage. Sorry if the video keeps turning back and forth. I hate holding the camera. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll be right back. So, I'm back. <clears throat> and this is how I decorated this cage. I did not put his cup in there this time, just because I am getting more and more concerned. I haven't cleaned it out, that's why that's it. But 
um, the metal, like, it's rusting, and I'm not liking that too much at all, so that is not being put back in there. So, in this corner, he just has his owl, and then I have the holes back there. Um, and then he's standing on it, but here's his little wood shoe, and then his tube, and then his little food platform with his water. This, his venable log, log thing, is in there right now. Um, a tube here and a tube here. Now that he's using that and it's a lot bigger to stuff, I am adding more bedding to the front of it. So he can make a little thing in there. He'll pull it back. And then, where did the toilet paper go? So here's toilet paper. This is what I use to um his for like a nest. There's bedding kind of nesting in there. Sorry for moving, it's really hard to unroll this with one hand. I'll be right back and show you the re end result. So this is the end result. He got his food, his ladder, and all of his nesting. He's actually in there right now. So, yeah. That's pretty much how I clean his cage. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Guys, bye. I'm um, rambling. Okay. Bye, guys.